Hey traders, Akil Stokes here. Welcome to another episode of the Trading Coach Podcast. I apologize in advance if my voice isn't up to par. Uh, just found out today that my kid has strep throat. Um, I've been feeling under the weather since yesterday, so I'm pretty sure I got it too. And it kind of stinks because um, we're about two days away from the most delicious holiday of the year, Thanksgiving, where my only goal is to sit back and forcefully feast and watch sports all day. And well, I would like nothing to get in the way of that. But hopefully this gets out of my system soon and I can uh, enjoy myself on that day. But I wanted to come in to you guys and, and give you a, a really quick podcast um, because I had something on my mind, right? It was, it was a very long day. We started off with an amazing Q&A session this morning talking about um, ATR, talking about uh, creativity and how play should be a, a major part of trading. I then had a track practice basically all day. I, I came home. We went to get some passport information done for uh my upcoming trip to London. And then after everything was said and done, right, I, I got myself some dinner. The wife made a beautiful meal. I sat down and started watching what is, and so far, it's halftime right now, has been the NFL game of the year between the Kansas City Chiefs and the LA Rams. And while I'm sitting down, I'm going through some YouTube comments from the recent podcast that I posted, really the recent podcast and the, the recent videos that I posted on my channel. And you know, this morning I, I dropped episode, I believe 107 of the Trading Coach podcast. It was titled, This Trader is So Wrong, It's Scary. And as always, I like to read the feedback. And well, the trader in which I was referring to in the podcast actually left me some comments and he was calling me some words that I can't say on this podcast because I try to keep it clean, but um, they were pretty harsh. And believe it or not, for a split second, I felt kind of bad right? I try to be as honest as I can on these podcasts. I try to bring you guys the truth. These are my, my, this is my, I guess my, my avenue to vent um, to you guys, but I also try to be respectful. There are some podcasts out there where maybe they straddle the lines with friends and families and, and, and certain people out there. And I just never give them the light of day because I think better of it. And I was thinking to myself, Akil, was this one of those podcasts? Was this one of those episodes where I should have just kept it to myself, not made a big deal out of it, and not offended this trader, this, you know, this person out there? And it brought me back to a word that I used during my graduate studies, right? I invested three years uh, going for my master's degree in college. I really don't remember much from those three years, but I remember an awesome word, right? I don't know a lot of big words. So every time I remember a big one, I try to use it as many times as possible. That way I can seem smart. And it was this word called utilitarianism, right? And the word basically means kind of sacrificing the few for the greater good. And that word came to mind when I was reading the rest of the comments that came through because although this one singular trader was offended, as he probably should be because the podcast was about him and, and by the other comments that came through, I guess he was kind of seeing that, hey, I'm the only one thinking this way, maybe I'm wrong, and that's a big shot to the ego. But I can see how many traders actually got something positive from the podcast. And if it takes maybe offending one person, and I don't think I was offensive, I thought it was pretty respectful, but if it takes offending one person to positively affect the many, then I think it's worth it. And one of the the comments that stood out to me was from a buddy of mine named Chad. Chad's, you know, I've worked with Chad for a while, very supportive of everything I do. I can always count on Chad for honest feedback. And he said this. Let me get a chance to swig the water real quick. There we go. That's good. Chad says this. Akil, I don't know what I would do without your wisdom, honesty, and consistency. Trading is like treading water in the ocean. You know that no matter what direction you swim in, you will eventually hit land, but you don't know how far away you are. Always wondering if you have enough strength to make it. You are the flotation device that gives us just enough help to have a real chance to make it 
when we get tired and we feel like we're going down. Your knowledge and inspiration pulls us back to the surface. We catch our breath and push on. You and Jason are truly pioneers of something much bigger than yourselves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, I really appreciate the comment. And that goes for everyone that that has positive things or constructive things to say about what we're doing. Again, we're establishing a trading that is uh, a community, excuse me, that is more than trading. Trading is the skill. Trading is the tool that you're using to really build your perfect life. But this comment reminded me of a story that a good buddy of mine uh, told me, and, and this good buddy of mine, you, you may have heard me mention him before, his name is Bob Vasile. He's a TED Talk organizer. He's um, He runs our Deliberate Success Program, which is kind of a, a mentality, positive thinking, kind of change your life, right? Gra gr not change your life, grasp hold of your life and control your life type of deal that we, we do with college students. And it reminded me of a story he said about taking control in your, of your life. And he said, imagine your life, right, as being a broken down boat, right? You're a broken down boat in the water, right? You have three choices. One, and this is what most people are doing, you can just sit there and let life take you wherever it may, right? Let the current maybe take you to land, let the current maybe push you back, right? Just slowly drift wherever the water, which is your life, is taking you, right? And that's what most people are doing. Most people aren't taking control of their life. They're, they're, they think they're living life, but they're really just kind of just treading along until, you know, I hate to be morbid, but until they eventually die only to realize that, man, my last years are spent with, with nothing. I'm in the middle of nowhere and, and boom, it's over. And the second option is, some people take a small amount of action. Some people say, you know what? I want to have control over my life. I want to be able to choose the direction that I go in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this boat. I'm going to break it off. Boom. And I'm going to create a paddle. And I'm going to start paddling myself in some direction. I may not know what direction I'm going to. But like Chad says, if you keep paddling in one direction, eventually you will hit land and, and think about land as being a goal, right? And that's what a lot of people are doing as well. We see that especially in the trading industry, right? I always talk about Mark Douglas having this category called the boom and busters, right? Imagine that, you know, 40 to 50% of traders just completely fail right away, right? Those are the people that are just you know, they're into trading. They don't put in any work. They think it's a get rich quick scheme They're They just think they can open a demo account or open a real account. And then, you know, uh, success will come. Those are people that are just floating in the water, letting the tide take them wherever. And they end up doing nothing. It's just slowly bleeding an account, right? The boomer buster category is a little bit different, right? These traders have a, a slightly different perspective. I think they understand that trading takes work. They understand that it's not a get rich quick scheme. They're taking steps in the right direction. They're paddling that boat in the right direction to be successful, but it's a very slow journey, right? Learning to trade is a, is a, a very hard thing to do, right? I, I teach traders for a living, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I also come from a position where I was once the student, right? I was once a struggling trader who tried to do it by myself for a long time, eventually got educated and it was still very, very hard. It still took me years after getting educated to become successful, but I can only imagine where I would be if I didn't take that step. And those are people that are slowly paddling, right? You're working in the right direction, but to get to that goal, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort, right? The third way is this. Build an engine. He said, instead of taking action right away, right, sit back, game plan, learn, take what you have on that boat, take the parts, build an engine out of it, right? And I'm assuming that the learning process of knowing how to build an engine for someone like me, who's not mechanical at all, right? Um, take the time to learn, invest time in, in building that engine, right? You may not get started as quick as a paddle, right? A paddle, you can get started right away. An engine's going to take you maybe a few hours, maybe a few days to create. So that e initial jump in the right direction is going to be there. You're going to float for a little bit. But once you build that engine, then you can start going in the right direction at warp speed. And you'll get there so much faster. 
And if you notice, what you did was you sacrificed a, a little bit of time of being stagnant at the beginning, but you saved yourself so much time because now you're you're progressing through the journey to land, which is that goal. You're progressing through it at such a faster rate that by the time you get there, you have so much more time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And that's the main thing we, we say about coaching because people always ask us, you know, do you need a coach to be successful? You don't. You don't need a coach to be successful. There are many traders out there that are self-taught. I would even argue to say that many traders that are being coached in a way are self-taught as well. But there are many traders out there that are learning on their own, that have the ability, they've read book after book after book after book, YouTube video after YouTube video, attended webinar after webinar, but never had any direct coaching. And you can certainly be successful that way. But, for the majority of people out there, by having a coach, by having a mentor, by having some type of motivational and inspirational person in your life to keep you on track and, and having a community to push you and hold you accountable, right? you tend to complete that journey a lot quicker and with a lot less false turns. Right, you're directly going towards your goal. You're not paddling this way only to realize, uh, oh, well, maybe the wrong way, and then you're re-paddling and resetting, right? I'm sure that happens a little bit, right? We all make mistakes, but you're more likely to get to those goals to accomplish those dreams, right, in a direct path. And that's the real value of having that mentor. So for all you guys out there that that call me your your coach, call me your mentor, whether you're with Tier 1 at not or not, right? Obviously, we have a, a handful of clients we work with at Tier 1 Trading on a, a very close basis on a daily, uh, a, a daily basis. But there are many of you guys that simply listen to this podcast, that simply watch the YouTube videos, that simply follow Jason Grayson and myself on, on Instagram or Twitter, on social media, and just kind of take in whatever we're doing. I appreciate you guys taking the steps needed to be successful. And whether you're the person building an engine and, and, and going right for those dreams or whether you're the person with a paddle kind of doing it the hard way until you can build an engine, right? You're still doing better than the person that is just floating there and taking, uh, letting life take control of them. You are taking control of your life. And when you take control of your life, you can really build and achieve whatever you want out of it. Yeah. <sighs>